rang up in hymns of praise to greet our Lord these festive days. Alleluia, alleluia. Who by a road before untrod ascended to the throne of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the Apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them, as to what this could, would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy 
and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world. But people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear friends, today we hear the Gospel passage, John 3.16, one of the most recognizable passages that you might come across, especially in the United States. And it is because it is powerful, it is poetic, but it is also a good summary of why Jesus came to save us from a life of sin and death. And throughout the Gospel, we see this, this sort of theme of darkness and light. And easy to understand and to relate to. And as it says here, those whose works are evil prefer the dark. Because, of course, being exposed means that our hearts, which however degraded, have a conscience, it suffers when it is exposed. When the light sheds on it, then its ugliness is revealed. And even some part, however dead in the sin, is still going to react with a desire to move away from that penetrating light. And so the light does illuminate the darkness and expose it, but the light also cleanses and it also wipes away the stains of darkness. That is Jesus. His very self has the ability to transform lives. It has the ability to reach into the prison and rescue those who are imprisoned and bring them into new life. So, this particular passage should give us comfort. God so loved the world that he sent his only son, knowing he would perish. But he wanted to bring us the light of eternal life. And so, whenever we pray, whenever we move about throughout our day, we should think about this very simple distinction. Is what we're doing, how we're conducting our lives, the way that we live, is that the type of thing that shows well in the light? Or is it the kind of thing that we want to turn the lights off? And if it's more of those lights off types of moments, then let us try to move towards 
that light little by little. Now that we have this time to really reflect and look upon how we might ask the big questions and conduct ourselves in a way that prepares us for perhaps a rebirth when we're able to go about our lives in a normal way. God gave his only son to the world so that we might be saved through him with faith. In his saving power we offer our prayers to the Father. That church leaders may have a spirit of humility as they serve in Jesus' name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political leaders may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit to bear the fruits of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That prisoners may be treated with dignity and restored to right relationship with society upon their release. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of believers may be guided by God's grace. In all we say and do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who die believing in Christ may be saved through him and have eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray also in a special way for today's Mass Intentions, which are for Rose Marie Johnson and James Salvo Sr. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of love and mercy, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers to your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands through the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. O risen Christ, ascended Lord, all praise to you, let earth Yeah.